Hi, boys and girls. I'm going to read you a story. It's called Our World in Space, Planets. As I read this story to you, take a look at all of the pictures in front of you, and also try to follow along as I read with your finger. I'll try to read a little bit slower for you. Take a look at the title, What is a Planet? Here's a poem to give us a little idea of what a planet is. Planet, shining in the night, stars help make your circle bright. Rocks or gas, you spin in space, clearing others from your place. Look here at the bottom of this page. There are space facts. It says, planets get their light from stars. Stars are big balls of hot gas. They make heat and light. Gas can fill up any space, big or small. Take a look at the title, Stars or Planets. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Do you know the rest to that? Most of the lights in the night sky are stars. Some lights are planets. Planets are round. They circle the sun. This path is called an orbit. Take a look at that word, orbit. Say it, orbit. See how it's highlighted for you? Space is full of objects that can get in the way of a planet. Planets are big enough to keep their paths clear in space. So we're going to move on and we're going to be reading about the different planets and we are going to be learning all kinds of facts about the planets. So as I read this to you, again, try to follow along with your finger and listen for the facts, everything that you learn about planets. Wow, look at that picture. What is that a picture of? Can you tell? That's right. It's the sun. The sun is a star. Did you know that? It is the closest star to Earth. This is why it looks bigger than the other stars. The sun gives Earth light and heat. It is about 350 times hotter on the sun than on Earth. Can you believe that? It gets pretty hot here on Earth, doesn't it? So hot that sometimes we need our air conditioning on. Can you imagine being on the sun at 350 times hotter? There is no way to survive that. Take a look at our little guy in the middle here. He says 109 Earths would fit across the face of the sun. 109 Earths, our planet, 109 of them. Can you believe that? That's how big the sun is. Take a look at this beautiful picture. How many planets do you see in front of you? Can you count them? That's right. Eight planets. Eight planets orbit the sun. Five dwarf planets circle the sun too. Look at that word dwarf. D-W-A-R-F. Dwarf means small. They are all part of what is called the solar system. Why don't the planets float away? The author is asking. The strong pull of the sun keeps them in place. This pull is called gravity. Take a look at that word. It's highlighted for you. Gravity. Say that word for me. Gravity. Now take a look at the picture. Let's point to each planet as I read it to you. The first planet is called Mercury. Point to Mercury. It's the closest planet to the sun. What's after Mercury? Point to it. Venus. Oh, and what is that third planet? Does that look familiar to you? It does to me. That is good old Earth. That's where we live. And after Earth, there is Mars. Point to Mars. After Mars, wow, that one is a little bit bigger, don't you think? It's called Jupiter. Point to Jupiter. 
And after Jupiter, we have Saturn. Look at Saturn. It has rings around it. What comes after Saturn? We have Uranus. And after Uranus, the last one there you see starts with an N, and it's called Neptune. Can you point to Neptune for me? Take a look at this page. We have a new title, a new heading. It's called The Inner Planets. What does the word inner mean? Let's see if we could find out. The first four planets are made of rock, dirt, and metal. Guess why they are called the inner planets? They are the closest planets to the sun. That's why they're called inner planets. Mercury is first. Can you point to Mercury? Then comes Venus, much bigger than Mercury. Can you point to Venus? And then there we are right after Earth. Point to Earth. And after Earth is Mars. Point to Mars. Those are the four inner planets closest to the sun. So for today's reading, here are three questions for you to answer. First one is, what can you observe in the night sky? The second one is, what are the lights in the night sky? And the third question is, what does the text say about the size of the sun?